Tom Wiley at the State BC Wrestling Tournament in Shelby, which started without fanfare. No parade of athletes, no wrestler introductions, just the business of wrestlers. And several of the favorites took care of business early. Starting with Eureka's Gunner Smith at 132 pounds, one of two wrestlers statewide vying for his fourth consecutive title, makes short work of his time on Friday. A pin and a tech fall, that has Smith in the semis. But his top competition is going to be Trey Tilmany from Thompson Falls, who beat Smith at the Western BC Finals last week in Cutbank. These two appear headed for a collision course in the finals with history on the line. Meanwhile, the quest for a team title looks to be a two-horse race between Glasgow and Huntley Project with a couple of potential spoilers in Jefferson, maybe Cutbank. But Glasgow's studs live in the heavier weight classes, so the lead is expected to change hands over the next two days. Meanwhile, your standalone Class C trophy, Circle, the prohibitive favorite for a fourth straight title, behind two-time champion Crail Stormer. Two pins for Stormer on Friday. He's into the semifinals. Let's check out a few more matches from the early session. This is Baker's Riley Davis at 103 pounds. He'll get a third period pin over a big fork wrestler, and he's on to the semis. Anaconda's Nate Blodnick dealing with a little bit of blood time. It is a 113-pound match, but the defending champion at 103 earns a hard-fought 6-4 decision to advance. Huntley Project's Gavin Neddens finished runner-up last year. He's the favorite to win it all this year, a near fall in the final seconds over Pancho Abanez for a 10-3 major decision. At 138, Roper Mickey, a two-time state runner-up for Conrad, looking to close his career on a high note. Has his hands full with Weston Timberland from Columbus. This two-point reversal, though, would be the difference. It's a 5-3 decision. We told you earlier the Glasgow and Huntley project would start to pull away from the pack in the evening, and we weren't lying. At 152 pounds, Colton Fast is a two-time state champion. He will pin Canyon Sargents in the first round. Fast moves on to the semis. At 160 pound, Huntley Project's Wiley Lindeen, the Eastern Division champ. He will make short work of Thompson Falls' Max Hannum with a fall at the 135 mark of the first round. We got a very interesting match at 182. Glasgow's Cooper Larson won a state title at 205 last year, moved down a weight, runs into Shelby's Cameron Bruisman in the third period. Bruisman gets a takedown, and that would be the difference. He knocks off a state champion, a 3-2 decision. Cole Strip might not be as powerful as they have been in years past, but Ryland Burns, a senior, carrying on that Colts legacy. He's a two-time champion, pins his way to the semis, looking for three. At 152 pounds, Whitehall's Dallin Hoover was a state runner-up last year. He's on a mission in 2021, undefeated entering the tournament, and he stays that way, 33-0, pinning Shane Reishas of Thompson Falls. Elsewhere at 160 pounds, Coy Kohenauer transferred from Bozeman to Three Forks, and the change of scenery suits him. Pins Fairfield's Miguel Ramos to move to the semis. Another Glasgow winner at 170, Kyler Halleck gets a pin. He finished fifth at state last year, moving to the semis as well. And at 170, cut banks Austin Vanek, the Eastern champion, cruising through the bracket in the second round. He overpowers Joseph Ferrier of Big Fork for the pin. As of airtime, there were still a few athletes working their way through wrestle backs, so the team race still constantly changing. You can find the latest results online at montanasports.com. Reporting in Shelby at the State BC Tournament, Tom Wiley, MTN Sports.